move on to matters of devolution. It's been five years since the current Kenyan constitution was promulgated. For many Kenyans, the new dispensation promised and meant the beginning of change. But has it really? From Western Kenya, Doka Swangira examines that question. A garbage landfill and a gold mine side by side at Rustam and Kakamega, a picture of waste and wealth, what is rejected and what is sought after at the same place, reflective of the way of life for many. Timothy Mukochi, the head miner here, voted yes in 2010. He wasn't there when the new constitution was promulgated. Change was all that was in his mind. Five years down the line, he's still doing what he has always been doing for 24 years, mining gold. Mining is still a national government function, but he tells us that even so, he has seen and enjoyed the fruits of devolution. Yes, but no two people tell the same story. The constitution has brought uh, even the big people closer to the Wanaichi. Wanjiku is happy about the constitution. The county assembly has uh, negated its role, like our county assembly. They are not doing what they are supposed to do. The county assembly, the responsibility should be, be, be uh, legislation and oversight, not administration. Gabriel Mukele, a renowned lawyer and former ECK vice chairman, was barely 25 when independent Kenya had its first constitution in 1963. He has borne witness to four successive regimes and understands why it was very necessary for us to have a new dispensation. Presidential powers, the development of particular areas, rather than, uh, and then the transparency of distribution of funds, Please, we should not forget what has come up. Devolution is arguably the greatest driver of change. The Bill of Rights, Chapter 6, Gender Equality Provisions, many here say have made the difference. Health strikes would have been a national disaster, but each county has to carry its own cross. There haven't been any in Kakamega this year. Vihiga, the smallest yet most populous by density, is seeing changes in infrastructure. So we can't wait for them to come and do because that is what has been happening. So as a county government, we know best what are the problems of our people and we are best placed to address those problems. Those funds come from the consolidated fund which belongs to both national and the county government. So those are some of the teething problems in the, in the, in the implementation of this uh, a, 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 a new, a, a new constitution. Implementing the constitution has been a nationwide struggle. Mukele says we have come from far, but the change many clamored for is still being opposed by forces that want to maintain the status quo. We said no, let us have this in August. And even people who transport people from town to come to rural areas are also wrong. If you live in Nairobi, stand for elections in Nairobi. And if you are in Nairobi, vote for your MP in Nairobi. And the elite, the ruling elite, just grab without looking at the status of the ordinary Kenyan. Uh, uh, things have not changed much. Corruption is still rife, he says. Greed, the culture of looting and tribalism, entrenched in appointments and in institutions. The honesty says rests on the generation that passed the new dispensation and the one that comes after it to guard it jealously. The constitution is very good on the participation of the people. There is even a clause for the recall of an MP. Very nice. But in practice we have refused to be clean. We have refused, we, it's, it's just looting, everybody is looting. Eh? People are, are, are not bothered about the ordinary people. And the ordinary people are now some of the graduates on the streets. It is dangerous. The gold miners at Rostaman have very little to show for their trade. 
five years. The more things have changed, the more they have remained the same for most of them. But they still cling on to hope, like most Kenyans who said yes to a new constitution. Dorcas Wangira, KTN News, Kakamega.